like a bit of love on a Sunday. <laughs> because, especially this year, because it's, uh, of course, a leap year. Uh, Valentine's Day may have come and gone, but because it's a leap year tomorrow, um, it means, traditionally at least, that women can propose to their male partner rather than the other way around. Uh, Holly Patrick did just that, proposed to Pete Barnes. And also here in the studio is editor of Brides magazine, Jade Beer. Morning, all three. Um, Pete, did you dare say no? <laughs> uh, well, um, no, of course not. <laughs> there's no chance for her. Um, I wonder though, Holly, if why you wanted to do it, was it because Pete was being a bit slow on the uptake? No, don't, that, I'm so glad you said that, because no, that was not it. It was just, it, I don't know, it just kind of came to me one day, and obviously with it being leap year this year, it just encouraged me to do it. Did you, do you not feel like you missed out on the no. traditional proposal? Mm -mm. No, 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 no. I don't think I'd be very good at being proposed to. I think I'd be like, oh, get out, what are you doing? Ugh. No, I wouldn't <laughs> like it. Oh. So um, I think it was good that it was me that did it. And then it gets, he gets to then have that kind of like, Ooh. moment rather than me. See, I always advise, I mean, I've been married for, for quite a while now, it's 20 years this year. What, you were going to say twice? <laughs> no, 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 just the once, 20 years. But I always advise young couples, that, women, that say to me, oh, he hasn't asked me yet, he hasn't asked me yet. Why wait? Why are you waiting if it's something that you want to do? It's not a passive yeah. exercise. You don't have to sit there. Absolutely. Well, that's it, exactly. Just... She did me a favour to be fair. No, <laughs> yeah, I, I, now I, you have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> do you think, would, would you have plucked up the courage at some point, Pete? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it was, it was definitely something I was thinking about. And then um, we had spoken about it in the past. And then, well, she just um, sort of helped the situation a little bit. Now I don't have to do it. Right. right. <laughs> when is the big day, by the way? Um, November. Right. Mm. Are you going to love, honour and obey? I don't like that word. You don't say that's mm. not in right now. <laughs> it's not modern. I've no, I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering. It's out of interest. Um, Jade, it, I mean, it's interesting, isn't it, how obviously we think of leap years as the only mm. time women tend to do that. It must happen quite a lot, though, surely. It does. And I think, you know, our eyes were really open to that when we started this whole project because we did a call out across the Brides Magazine social media channels and we were inundated with women that wanted to do it. So, you know, that kind of said to us that there was a need for it. You know, women wanted to do it. There's absolutely no reason why, you know, a woman can't propose to a man now. It's absolutely the done thing. And the women were so confident throughout this whole process. They, they came to it for a whole different host of reasons. They all had different reasons for wanting to do it, but they were all really determined and really confident and didn't give us any worries at all, really. I wonder, what do you think about tradition, though, in the sense that uh, you, there is this idea that a man has to propose, but also, you know, getting permission from a parent, from the, from the bride's father first, all that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, this throws it all out the window. Presumably a, 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 a bride doesn't ask permission from the bridegroom's parents before she asks him and all that. That's, mm -hmm. uh, that's kind of the great thing about doing but, it as a woman because but, but there is it are all, no rules. But is it all outdated, that sort of tradition? Do we need to forget about it anyway? Well, I think, you know, most people do now. I mean, everybody gets married and proposes in their own way. And, you know, you guys have done it very differently. And I have to say, they were so incredible in the proposal room. They had the very tough job of being the first couple up. And uh, we were laughing about it earlier because Holly w was so confident. She walked into the room. I don't think what? you were ba you were barely sat down before the words were out of your mouth. What? So, you, so, what? so you, you proposed in public? It was, yeah. Did yeah. you know it was happening, Pete? No, no, no he had no, no idea. No chance. The whole, the whole, the whole scenario. We got into this um, review room that I was led to believe what it was, yeah. and then so we sat down. And before I actually sat down, she was already speaking. Oh, by the way, it's not a food review. So I was like, Oh, okay, right. So, you, but you're happy that you are marrying a very sneaky woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I've been rethinking the whole thing since. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no, yeah, no, I am. Did you not I am. have any inkling at all? Because he literally had none. You, I had, if you watch the footage, I was going to say the like, video. The video will tell you exactly how much of an idea oh, really? I had. Really, and also, I'm, I'm interested to know. Did you practice beforehand? Were you nervous? No. Because I think there's a lot of pressure on guys. You know, um, I got recently engaged, and um, I know that um, my other half now. He he told me afterwards he was so nervous and he was rehearsing, rehearsing, rehearsing it. And then when it came to it, he completely forgot to get down on one knee and got down on two knees, etc., etc. <laughs> so, you, but. But it was still an amazing moment. But did you not feel any? No, I literally went in there and I was like, I'm just going to have to wing it. Because I think I'll always be overthink it. You then would be super nervous. Was I just thought, eh. and I literally went, so I've got a question to ask you. Will you marry me? And he was like, oh, it just happened really quickly. So I just thought, if I have to prepare a speech, I was like, it's just not very me. Did you have a ring? So. 
No. Uh, oh. No, because I didn't. I no, wasn't really sure what you were well, supposed you to do. But um, you don't really have a ring. We do. Well, we do now. But um, <laughs> it happens. You can't get it yourself. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a bit weird, wouldn't it? Didn't ask my dad either. So <laughs> no. no. Oh well, look. I think it's however you do it. I think it's not. It's always yeah. nice and romantic. Congratulations to you yes. too. Thank, Thank you very much. Good luck for November. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Hope it's a nice day. It will be a lovely day. Um, Jade, thank you, thank you too as well. And um, <laughs> we need to get Naz in, yes. in Bride magazine, don't we? we <laughs> yeah, often, let's uh, do that. There you go. Um, June. Stay no. with us. August. 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 Oh. What am I saying? June. No, that's the referendum. <laughs> <laughs> Same sort of thing, really. Um, stay with us here on Sunrise. Still to come.